Apple never fails to capture global attention, and while the September event has just wrapped up with iPhone 17 and Apple Watch updates, it turns out the company isn't finished yet. All signs point toward another event, one quietly planned for late October or early November 2025. Unlike the big September showcase, this second fall keynote is shaping up to be shorter, more focused, and entirely different in purpose. It may not bring a flashy new iPhone or revolutionary wearable, but it could instead set the stage for the next big leap in computing, home technology, and ecosystem integration. To understand why this October event is so important, you have to look back at Apple's history. Over the past decade, the company has carefully established a rhythm with its calendar, June belongs to developers with WWDC, September has always been the home of iPhones and watches, spring has been a place for iPads and lighter Mac updates, and then there's October. For years, October was often unpredictable. Some years there was nothing at all. Other years, it became the moment when MacBooks, iPads, or accessories stepped into the spotlight. It has also become the timing for last-minute hardware reveals ahead of the all-important holiday shopping season. That window is exactly where we stand today. So what's on deck for October 2025? The headline is clear, the arrival of the M5 generation of Apple Silicon. After years of rapid progress through the M1, M2, M3, and M4, Apple's M5 chip family is rumored to deliver a major boost not just incremental gains. With architecture informed by the A19 chip found inside the iPhone 17 Pro models, the M5 promises new efficiency cores, higher GPU performance, and machine learning acceleration that could redefine the boundaries of laptops, desktops, and tablets. For many analysts, this October event is less about new designs and more about power, longevity, and Apple demonstrating that its in-house silicon continues to lead the industry. The first product expected to carry the M5? The MacBook Pro lineup. According to leaks, the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pros will receive the M5, M5 Pro, and M5 Max configurations. No OLED screens just yet, those are still rumored for 2026, and no radical redesign either. Instead, Apple is playing to its strengths by refreshing the internal power plant. Creators, video editors, developers, and anyone who relies on the MacBook Pro's performance may find this October update the perfect moment to upgrade, especially with battery life gains that always come with each new chip generation. Even without external changes, the prospect of unmatched power-to-watt efficiency will be the star of the show. But laptops aren't the only players. The iPad Pro is also due for a refresh. Just recently, it received OLED displays that finally brought deep blacks and richer visuals to Apple's flagship tablet. The design, originally introduced in 2018, still holds up remarkably well, proving how ahead of its time that generation was. Now the focus shifts to what's inside, the M5 chip. A pro tablet powered by Apple's latest silicon could push workflows like photo editing, 3D rendering, and professional illustration to entirely new levels. And there's an intriguing twist, reports suggest Apple may experiment with dual front-facing cameras. One optimized for portrait use, the other for landscape. For video calls, online meetings, and streaming, this could mean an iPad that works seamlessly no matter how you hold it. If true, this would be one of the biggest usability improvements in years. The October event isn't only about Macs and iPads, though. Apple's home strategy has been quietly expanding, and this could be the moment it takes a bigger step. For years, HomeKit has been powerful but niche, mostly appealing to enthusiasts. Rumors suggest that Apple is looking to break into mainstream home devices with products like a smart video doorbell, in-house sensors, and even thermostats. Nothing is guaranteed for October, but if Apple wants to build a complete smart home ecosystem that rivals Google Nest or Amazon Alexa, this is where the seeds will be planted. Alongside that, the HomePod Mini is tipped for an update. It may not seem huge, but for many households, the HomePod Mini is Apple's most affordable entry point into the smart home world. An updated chip, new colors, 
and maybe the addition of Apple intelligence integration could make it far more compelling. This event could also see a refresh to the Apple TV. With streaming growing more competitive every year, the Apple TV remains one of the most polished home theater boxes, and a silicon update plus Dolby Vision support could keep it ahead of the curve. For a company so focused on services like Apple TV Plus and Apple Arcade, upgrading the box that makes those experiences shine seems like a natural move. One of the quieter updates that could also make its debut is AirTags 2. The first AirTags were small, useful, and became instantly popular for keeping track of bags, keys, and even pets. But battery life and precision tracking could be better. According to reports, AirTags 2 has been finished for months but never shipped. If Apple wants to round out this October event with smaller but still meaningful hardware, updated AirTags could finally be ready. There's also speculation about the Vision Pro. The original Vision Pro launched to mixed reception, mostly due to its price and limited content ecosystem. Now, whispers suggest that Apple is already preparing a follow-up model or at least an update with newer silicon. It might not appear at this event, perhaps it's still too early, but analysts believe Apple could at least tease where the product line is headed. Vision Pro has been a statement product, but for it to move from curiosity to mainstream, the next iteration will have to solve affordability and integration challenges. Now, why is all of this happening in October instead of just waiting for spring? The answer lies in timing. Apple knows that holiday shopping drives massive revenue, and consumers who have been holding off on buying a Mac or iPad may choose to upgrade right before the year ends. By dropping M5, powered Macs and iPads in October, Apple ensures they dominate the premium laptop and tablet space through December, just as shoppers are deciding what gifts to buy and what tools to invest in for the new year. This strategy has worked before, and it's likely to work again. It's also worth mentioning that October events have historically been shorter and more compact than September. Apple doesn't need to fill 90 minutes with theatrics this time. Instead, it usually delivers a tight, pre-recorded video presentation lasting 30 to 45 minutes. Enough to showcase the new Macs, the iPads, a few home devices, and maybe an unexpected one more thing. The brevity works in Apple's favor, keeping expectations realistic while still creating buzz. Looking beyond the products themselves, this October event is about sending a message, Apple is committed to its own silicon roadmap, to improving the user experience across every category, and to laying the foundation for a more integrated future. Whether it's the jump in GPU power for Macs, the camera innovation in iPads, or the expansion of the smart home ecosystem, every move is a piece of a larger puzzle. For professionals, the M5 Max could be transformative. For students and casual users, the AirTags and iPad Pro could be the most relatable upgrades. For families, a new Apple TV or HomePod Mini could bring Apple services deeper into daily life. In other words, this October event may not have the glamour of an iPhone launch, but its impact could be felt across the ecosystem in a more subtle, long-lasting way. As we count down to Apple's next big announcement, one thing is certain, the company knows how to keep momentum alive. September may have been the blockbuster month, but October could very well be the quiet revolution that sets Apple up for its most important year yet. Stay tuned as we continue to cover every rumor, every leak, and every piece of confirmed news about Apple's October event. From the Macs that will carry Apple into 2026 to the accessories that will quietly change everyday life, this is an event you won't want to miss.